did you keep Joey involved when he was on suspension, not able to play? How did you keep him fresh, interested, involved, ready to help the younger guys, and then make that transition to get him ready to play this Well, game? we really didn't change a lot. I mean, we kept him, kept him practicing, kept him involved through all the energy roles and, of course, in the meetings. Uh, and he played defense. So we'll rotate the ones and the twos, and he would get some reps doing that. As he got closer to the game, we, we started to back him out a little bit to give those young guys some reps. But I think that was the biggest thing. He was not standing on the sideline watching. He was involved getting reps uh, and getting ready. And when he was not getting reps, he was on the sideline getting conditioning. What was his attitude like? Uh, really great, really great, really great. You know, that's obvious, disappointing, but very great. Good attitude, stayed focused, went to work. And, and I think that's what you want to see. You guys are rotating a lot of guys up front, uh, specifically at defensive tackle. Um, of the young guys, the backups, who's really pushing? Who's one guy who's really pushing uh, for more playing time? I think Mike Hill is a guy uh, you got to continue to watch. He's starting to do some really great things. He's big, strong, athletic guy inside, and that's what we look for in a nose guard. Uh, you know, Joe Hill is our senior guy. That, you know, is really uh, he's going to get some reps. But I think Mike Hill is a guy who's really starting to push ahead a little bit. Difference with him. I know he played as you weren't here yet. Played as a true freshman, um, and then I believe he redshirted last year. What's what's the difference with Mike this year? I think he's he's lost some weight. First of all, he's got his weight down. Uh, he's more flexible. The, the staff has done a really great job of getting his hips loose, and then the things that we do drill wise really helped him out. And uh, and he he sees where he can be, and I think that's kind of motivated. Yep. Front row right here, Austin. Very right after the game, uh, Joey joked that this year he didn't feel like he was going to have to play 80 snaps. That there been maybe more rotation, more depth. In. Uh, are you guys in that position now where you can you feel more confident rotating guys and taking him off the field? I do. I really think uh, Joe's max probably 60, 65 plays to play at his best. And I think with Jalen Holm and Sam Hubbard and, and Darius Slade, it gives a chance to really rotate, keep those guys fresh with Taekwon Lewis. Uh, I think that's the way you got to play the game. And I think it gives Joey a chance to be fast all the time. I don't know the count. Um, you know much better than me. How often was he in a position where he'd have to play every single snap a year ago? Uh, a year ago, he probably played about 72 plays, down from probably 90 the year before I got here. And in some games, he played 85, 90 plays, which I think is a lot of football. You know, to play to play at maximum speed, I think that's tough to do. Yep. Front row left, Doug. Larry, obviously, this Ohio State offense is a pretty high flying offense, puts up lots of points. Herbert Meyer is known for this offense. Does that do anything for the defense? That I don't know. Is there any kind of motivation? Is there ever are there little? Is there a little competition? At all on a team of like, hey, you know, the offense is doing this. The defense wants to be just at that same level too. Uh, I don't think it's every way you look at it. I think it's a team concept. You know, the offense, I have a great day, and sometime a defense, I have a down day. We just got to pick each other up, and that's what it's all about. And that's what you saw Saturday. We kept playing, and they kept playing. As next thing you know, something good happens on the offense, and the defense keep playing. So no, I don't think it's ever about competing against the offense or defense. It's still one team. Was it? that what did you like best about what the defense did? I mean, the shutouts aren't easy. What did you like best about what the defense did? I thought we stayed focused during the course of the game. I think that was the biggest thing. And you know, we saw guys on the sideline engaged. When they hit the field, they were engaged. And that's what you want a defense unit to do. And they're not, just not the front four, it's the whole four groups. And you saw the silver bullet guys look at each other in their eyes, just keep playing, just keep playing. And, and as you saw, they kept playing. And some good things happen when you do that. As you watch video, does Darren Lee always jump out? What, what, tell, tell me about the reactions and stuff y'all see of him, the way he makes plays and, and stuff. I mean, uh, how much of that is him freelancing? How much of that is him just executing? He's not freelancing. I mean, he's in the defensive yeah. skate. <laughs> he's in the defensive skate. I think he's a very twitchy young man. I think he's got some really athletic skills. Uh, the thing that he volunteered to do is learn how to pass rush. And so he came down, spent time with Vince, our graduate assistant, and myself to work on his pass rush skills. And those are the things that are starting to show up. He can play much faster with his hands. And that's a gift to be able to have that. What, what sets him apart in a pass rush kind of situation? It seems like he has a great first step. I mean, or gets there quickly. I mean, what in your mind, what set, sets him apart? Speed. Yeah. Speed, ability to flip your hips. And he, he can do both. You know, when you have that much speed going on the edge and flip your hips at the same time, that's pretty dynamic. And the other thing, as you watch Joey, where do you, where can he take his game this year that he hasn't been before meeting? What, what did he clearly go into this season wanting to improve on from your from your bench? I think the hands is always in pass rush fit. You know, the hands got to be important. Speed of the hands, speed of the hips. And that's the thing that Joey's really worked on. You know, since, since the, the championship game, you can see the difference just in his hips and his hands just working and developing that. He could fit the run very well. But, you know, just the ability to use his hands as he rushed the passer really would get him a chance to be really special. You've 
been around some great players in that regard. Do those guys carry themselves differently? Do you see a respect there, uh, an aura about them? I mean, is, is he in that level? I, I think uh, the thing with Joe is that because he has such a great skill set is that he can't have a, you know, he, he can't have a moment where he can't play above himself. He's got to play at the high level all the time. That's tough to do sometimes. And that expectation comes with a little stress. So I think the biggest thing is keeping Joe relaxed and just playing within himself. That's the biggest thing that we try to do. Yeah. And final questions over here to the right, Andy. Uh, Coach, maybe this is more of a question for uh, Coach Pickle, but you're going to be taking on a quarterback, Drew Hare, this weekend, who's thrown for over 700 yards, six touchdowns, no picks, looking good so far. Um, you know, given the defensive effort that you guys put up, obviously, on Saturday, is there anything you're going to approach differently about uh, this game than maybe you did against Hawaii? Or be you're, I'm glad you said it. It was a very special quarterback. Drew is really special. We have some videotape. He can run the ball also. But he's pretty accurate. You know, what I mean, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He runs the offense. And this is a really good offensive line. This is a veteran offensive line, good system. They want to run the ball. They're pretty balanced. We look at them, they're really balanced and run and throw the ball. So this is really a challenge for us right now. And we're, we're working overtime to get ready for these guys because I they think they're, they're probably the best offensive line we've seen uh, in the first two games.